Hello, my fans, my enemies. Wait. Oh, that's better. Now, let's do Dark Fall. Real quick, let's get right to it. Um, it wasn't done. It it wasn't done. How not done was it? I There were alpha versions of games I've seen that were more done. They were on the GUIs. The, there were buttons that were grayed out. Well, they weren't grayed out, but when you clicked on them, it would say, please don't click this again. Because the functionality wasn't even there. If I shit you not. And it, it was more than just that. It was the map itself was barren as hell. I mean, sure, the trees and the grass and the mountains were all there, but, you know, the monsters, the content, things you could find, things in the dungeon, they weren't there. It was just this vast emptiness that you're traveling through. Which was kind of cool at first, but after a while you're kind of like, Hello? Anybody? It, it was, there was nothing there. And because it was so empty, people could travel across the, the continent and run into nothing. And as a result, people from the other side that were skilling up, we'll talk about that in a second, they were skilling up really fast, would come across the continent with, you know, effortlessly and just rape noobs over and over and over and over again. Now, another thing was the scaling up was more boring than leveling. It was unbelievably boring. It, instead of leveling, you had to get your skill up by using it. Well, you know, whatever, but it went fast at first, but then it went forever slow. You'd, you'd have to bombard your spell like your one magic spell to try to level up that that particular spell and oh my god I, it was I've never seen leveling so boring it was awful and that was sort of the point of getting rid of levels was so that you didn't have to go through this grinding process but this game was the worst grinding I had ever seen like I couldn't believe it and, but moving on past that, I mean, there's more. Uh, now, the game did deliver the player freedom, which is what they were going for, right? The, um, you could go anywhere, which you could. You could climb any mountain. There was no artificial boundaries that kept you from doing stuff. You could swing across oceans. And, well, there wasn't anything on the other side of the ocean, but you could across giant rivers and canals to other islands and you know stuff like that um, without any content it's pretty easy to travel everywhere but well, the thing is with player freedom in real life what do you call giving people complete freedom that's right anarchy I assume someone said it and what happens in anarchy is Groups of really strong or powerful people go around and raping the poor and sweet people, what was known as the noobs. <laughs> and that happens constantly. My, to give you an idea of what my playing was, and I played for a while, it was my friend. We would go out and we wouldn't last more than 30 minutes anywhere we went. New areas, whether it was 15 feet away from the castle wall or the, the city wall, we, we would get raped. I mean, by raped, I mean. One guy that played it for several hours, skilled up superly, came around and just wiped out all the noobs, looted their bodies, and went on to the next noob place. And it was very easy to find the noobs because there were only so many groups of spawns where monsters would spawn. They were very small amounts since there's so little content put into the game. So they just have to go from spawn point to spawn point to spawn point to, they didn't care about the monsters, just kill the noobs, take all their stuff, or their gold anyway, and back and forth and back and forth. And it was probably just fun to kill the noobs, and some, some of them just didn't even want to loot the bodies. And there was no, nothing put into place to protect anyone from this, this player freedom, you know? There was, there's no cops, there's no patrolling 
NPCs. There were some NPCs in the city, but they wouldn't leave, and I doubt they would actually attack anything. Um, the only protection that you kind of had were these guard towers, which were just automated uh, computer towers, sort of, that would shoot beams of lightning at something that came close. But in order for that to protect you, you had to be right next to the city, or in the city. And... <laughs> And if you weren't, like if you're actually trying to go out and kill things, then you you weren't really protected. You could try and run back to the city, but chances are they could kill you before that. And I don't even blame them for going around killing noobs because there's no other content placed in the game yet. There's nothing for them to do but kill noobs. It was the most fun thing, really. And it was either that or you were in a clan... And that's what a lot of people did. They just grouped together in groups to try and protect themselves because it's the only way you wouldn't constantly get ass ramped. And you'd be in the guild, and you'd go around fighting other guilds, pretty much, or monsters, but really just other guilds. That's what they did. It was, it was kind of sad and pathetic, and there wasn't there were so few places. You know, they had these player cities where you'd go in and conquer, and you'd hold but there's constant attacking back and forth that those things would go up and down like mad. And there are very few of them considering how many players they expect to be in per server. Now you could kind of like this, okay, sure. I mean, I personally don't like having to deal with clans, especially if several big clans, and dealing with all the politics involved with the clans. It's like, I want to do this, and I want to do this. Can we do this? Shut up, you're just joined here. I have seniority. We're going to do this. Oh, fuck you. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do the other clan. Oh, blah, 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 blah. We should do this. No, that. And then, then, let's roll for it. Uh, I'm sorry, I just don't like that. Uh, you, know, you guys could like that, but I, I hate that. And those of you who play games, and I've heard some of the, a lot of comments for this, those of you who play games just to talk to other people, and you can put up with the game no matter how crappy it is just because you want to you know, spend time talking to good people, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what game you play. I'm looking to play a game. You're looking for a glorified chat room. So fuck you people. Okay, thank you. In short, clans are great, sort of, unless you hate them. You shouldn't be forced to be in a clan to avoid ass running. That's all. That's my main point there, okay? And maybe... Maybe it'd be harder for them to ashram you if there weren't still spawning points. That was one of the things in the beginning of the game design, was they weren't going to have constant spawning points of monsters, that they would be spawning randomly, or the groups, they'd actually migrate from area to area to area. There wouldn't be set spawn points to try and eliminate the boringness of spawn camping, but no, they did not do that at all. They just recently, in expansions, maybe beta version, put in some monsters that do migrate, but others don't. So anyway, game not finished yet, uh, content's not there yet, a lot of things, you know, they need to work on, there's no safeguards against the total anarchy, you're, you know, forcing the clans or you get ass ran. I think my friend, one, the guy I was playing with, put it as, I have never played a game that was so physically painful in my life. And it's kind of true right now. Now, are they working to make things better? Sort of, kind of. They're adding content back in, blah, 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 blah. But by the time the game is actually any good, it'll lose any of its fan base or players, and you won't have anyone to play with. So, in a nutshell, that's the review.